Hello, hello, it is me, it's Nemo. That's a new one for me. How are you all? How's it going? Nemo Ashong here, founder of Enjoyment and pioneer leader of the World Joy Movement. I had to get out and move myself because I just had a realization and you know that I love to share these with each of you out there because quite frankly, you all have been so instrumental in me deciding and continuing moving forward. I know now that it's something I'll be doing no matter what, but I want to just take some time to say thank you and to show my appreciation of you by sharing with you this this feeling that I that I have this uh, this revelation that that I have and for all of you <laughs> the funny part is this might be clear as day there may be absolutely new no new insights for all of you but for me it's a monumental shift and because of that I'm going to share <laughs> so what is what happened for me what's showing up for me is that at the end of the day what I do is help people experience joy in life and work every day and saying that it fills me with joy because it's one of those things where it's like that's that's the way I operate my life I have this wonderful compass of knowing whether or not uh, what's gonna bring me closer to joy and what will take me away from it and recently I've had uh, people I'm gonna walk this way because light looks kind of interesting uh, but recently I've had people come up to me and, and ask they're like yo dude like you have a lot of energy what's going on with that you know or I'll hear people tell me as I'm walking through the office you know there's something about your smile there's a way that that you walk there's a way that you that you do things that it's like I'm like how how do you have that much energy and it comes from for me from this place of joy and I realized I talk a lot here around uh, being unapologetically you, authenticity. I step into inclusion and, and these kind of difficult situations or areas where there are um, a lot of contention, a lot of ways that it can go wrong. And yet I'm still able to find a joy in having those conversations. I actually find joy in, in stretching myself and putting myself in places that make me uncomfortable and, and expressing my thoughts and expressing ways to find um, to not just have my thoughts in there, but to also be challenged and to grow. Like that to me is joy. Uh, and so I wanted to come out here and just kind of make things clear. But mainly for myself, I'm like, I'm like, I could have just started acting on this. Like, why am I coming out here to make, make a video? Well, firstly, this is action. Uh, and secondly, at least for me, this is like, this is, um, this is the meaningful action for me. Uh, but secondly, I want to, I want to make sure that this is clear. I want to make sure that like at the end of the day, People know that this is what I do. And I find a variety of different ways, I have a variety of different tools to, to help people experience joy, but that's what it is at its core. So what does that look like? So I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. I spend time with people, and if you've seen, if you've seen me on uh, Facebook Live, if you've seen me on Facebook or in just various arenas, you know that I don't do small talk. I'm not, I, I've just given up on surface level conversation. Uh, Nicole, my wife, is the only person <laughs> that I reserve that, reserve that for because uh, quite frankly, I, I'm sure it can be exhausting <laughs> having to go, go deep each, each and every conversation. Uh, she's made it clear that it, that's the case. <laughs> but. Uh, I choose to I choose to get into deep conversations. I choose to talk about things that are important to people. And the reason for this is that I've realized that when it comes to joy, there's there's something about being seen as you are, making actual connections with people, and uh, and really just being able to be unapologetically you. That is one of the things that un uh, underpins it all. And. It's interesting because I, I talk a lot about inclusion and I talk about world joy and all three of these things to me are the same thing. They're just on various scales and they're just to various stages of, uh, of adoption in the world. What do I mean by that? Let me give you an example. So when I first decided to be an entrepreneur, when I first got excited about this, about the ideas of um, bringing something of my own out into the world, I watched a video by Simon Sinek that's uh, a TED Talk that really talks about start with why. And the first half of the conversation is all about starting with why. And then he jumps in uh, to the technology innovation curve. And it's very interesting because that, that curve, it's drawn as a bell curve. and uh, 
it talks about the various stages of uh, what it takes to, for technology uh, adoption. Uh, it's, it has 2.5% innovators, then followed by the 13.5% early adopters, 34% uh, of the early majority, 34% late majority, and then 16% people uh, that are laggards, right? Uh, so uh, to, to put this in the context here, it's like, you know, they're, the the laggards are people who are still paying for AOL.com, right? They're still paying to access the internet, right? Uh, and the innovators and such are, and, and early adopters are people who have the latest uh, technology that they're standing out in lines to get uh, to get the tech as it comes out and so forth. And the, I, it's interesting because that's a framework that I've been using in my life since then. It's probably been about nine to 10 years since I saw that. And the reason that, that that's important is that I came up, this is the part, part of the reason why I'm so excited. Uh, I came to the realization like, that's just innovation. That's the, the path that it takes for, for new ideas to spread. All right, that's, a, that's the path for social change. That's the path for technology changes. Like anything that's disruptive, anything that's gonna have someone change their life, there are gonna be some people who are anxious and ready for it, those innovators and early adopters. There are gonna be other people who are early majority where it's like, okay, I can jump on, but I need to know how it's gonna be better and make my life better right now. Uh, and I'm reading this book called Crossing the, the Chasm. And I say I'm reading the book, and I usually, when I say that, I usually mean I'm listening to it on audio. Uh, but actually this time I'm deciding to read uh, a few book summaries on it. Uh, and I'll probably uh, get, get the audio version when it becomes available uh, in, the, in the latest edition. But I'm, um, I'm reading this book, and it talks about just the, the, the chasm here is that there's a big gap in terms of what early adopters are looking for versus what the early majority is looking for. Um, and this is something that can be applied in a lot of different ways. So I would ask you to think about a project that you had uh, at work where you needed to uh, get a lot of different people on board. Um, there might be some people who just like jump on right away and you're like, you don't even need to convince them. And then, you know, if you're trying to get the entire organization behind you, there's a lot more that's involved there. But you might hear people talk about change agents. You might talk about all these various uh, interventions and various ways that can continuously get more and more people, pull more and more people uh, from uh, into whatever category they are and, and continue to move down that path of adoption. Uh, so I say all this here because I don't think I had taken the time to think about it in the context of enjoyment, to think about it in the context of joy and inclusion and authenticity and possibility. And what dawned on me, well, a couple things. Firstly, what dawned on me is my, my vision of world joy is the entire, is when the entire spectrum is taken, taken over, right? Uh, from <laughs> innovators all the way to laggards, right? That might take, that will take some time. However, the world joy is also built all along the way, but it looks different for different people. It looks different for different stages of things. And I think the, the reason I got so excited was because I'm like, wait a minute. Right now, I'm working with early adopters. I'm working with people who, who just want to experience joy each and every day. They don't need to experience joy so they can make more, pro uh, uh, so they can be more productive, which will happen. They don't need to experience joy so that they can have better uh, family relationships or to be a better husband, wife, mother, father, brother, uh, aunt, grandparent, whatever it is, which will happen. They don't need to experience joy because they're looking to uh, gain uh, more energy for, for themselves or to be able to create a life where they can smile each and every day and know that for them, whatever, however wide their smile is, uh, or even if they choose not to smile at all, they know that they're not just content, but they're fulfilled, they're satisfied. There's something out there where they really feel that their time here on earth whether it's this life, multiple lives, whatever your belief is, I'm not here to, to, to put anything, any restrictions on it. Um, and I would say on earth and in this universe because you know things are starting to move, my friends. Um, their time is well spent. They are able to, to really come in and, uh, and give all of who they are and to know that it is not just enough, but it is needed and it adds value. So there will be a time later on where You'll see me come on here and I might have, I might be more like, I don't think I'll ever be really buttoned up. We'll see how it goes. But uh, there might be some different things that I need to do to help more people be able to embrace world joy. 
um, you know, more, when we get to the to latter stages of of the innovation curve, when we get to the majority. And I want you to know that if you're watching this and you're like, well, if you're watching this, you're probably one of the early adopters. I'm not gonna lie. But if you're if you're if you're watching this and you're like, yeah, Nemo, I hear you talk about joy, but right now all I need to do is make more money or to get a promotion or to change my job or to change my career. Okay, I got you. We're not at the same place right now. That is totally fine. I, I started out enjoyment originally around helping uh, career changes with non-technical backgrounds uh, to get a job in the tech industry. And I realized that I was bringing in, there, there were certain people that I was really enjoying having the conversations with, and there were other people who were just like, I just want a new job, I'm not all that happy, I just want something else, I want increased pay, I think I should be a manager, things, so on and so forth. And what I realized is that like for those people, the job change wasn't actually going to bring them any more joy. You know, they were just they were just substituting whatever was off with something new or what they felt that they deserved or what they felt was the right time for them. And those people never became my clients because I never offered them a chance to work with me. Uh, and I find that, like, I want to be using my time differently. I want to be using my time the same way that I, I spend time cultivating joy and I, I actually make it a my environment is incredibly important to me. Notice that I'm by the water. This is a thing that is not by chance. I know that water rejuvenates me. It calms me. It fuels me. Uh, and I make it a point to find water uh, throughout the day. I also make it a point to surround myself with people who are up to big things in the world. People who are willing to, uh, who've had a track record of success and can now put their time on uh, and attention on saying, on knowing that they will be successful at anything that they touch. So why not do the thing that brings them joy? Why not do the thing that will help them create a bigger impact in their world, whether it's their family, whether it's their career, whether it's something larger on like a, on a global scale through like social change. That's the place that, I, that I'm at right now. And I'm gonna ask you, if you made it this far, I'm gonna ha I have an ask of you. I am starting a, uh, a program, I'm piloting uh, something that I feel will be really fun. And the reason I think it'd be fun is because through my work here of working with people individually, one-on-one, -on -one, what I've found time and time again is that the path to joy for, for them is when they're able to go through, I'll give you this model in case it's, in case it's helpful for any of you. Um, the path there is really around self-awareness, the next step being self-expression, and then self-belief. I hear a lot of people say, if only I had more confidence, if only I had um, you know, more self-esteem, uh, if only I got rid of self-doubt. And the, the path, that we, the, the framework that we work through, just through those, those three steps, uh, self-awareness, self-expression, self-belief. And the thing there is that it's, it's about awakening an awareness of like, what is it about you? What is it about you specifically that, that, that really lights you up? And then how do you go ahead and express that and put it into action so that in doing so, you start to actually see it come to life. You might become, you might go back into the, the loop again and get another level of awareness and say, okay, wait, what I thought was me, there's a tweak on here. I'm going to explore, explore it a little bit. Or you might come out and say, oh, wait, yeah, of course I would do this because this is exactly who I am. Self-awareness, self-expression, self-belief. And so what I've found is that it takes time. It takes time and it takes practice. It's, it's a culture change. It happens, a culture change on an individual basis and a culture change throughout your organization, throughout even your team or just your family, right? Not just, but like including your family, right? These things take time and it takes practice for it to really cement, for it to really come in, uh, come into play. Uh, and so, if you're, if you're watching this, I'd like to invite you or anyone else you, you would know. I'd really be curious who you know, who would, who's at a stage right now where they can invest in actual joy for themselves. They've had a track record of success. They're multi-talented, multi-passionate about, and, and it seems that whatever they touch turns to gold. However, they're looking to move out of the traditional definitions of what other people would consider success and really break free for themselves and to, to find it. I'm making this video here in Singapore and uh, one of my, some, for me this was like, it, it, my wife Nicole got an opportunity and um, 
It's a longer story, uh, and I'll share it one day because to tell you the truth, I was not I was not thrilled. I was not like, yes, let's go. I was like, all right, I'm happy you found something, but like Singapore, like what about South America? <laughs> um, and the thing, I think the big thing here is, I, I'll tell that story later on. It doesn't it doesn't have as much relevance as as this part here. We had good things going on for us in New York. I describe it as working and having two years of bliss. I was I had recently been the president of my uh, of my acapella group, Voices of Gotham, which just had their 10 year anniversary concert today. What what? Well done, Voices. Um, just living in the seventh out here. <laughs> um, and. Nicole was doing fantastic at work. We were living in Chelsea. I was living 10 minutes away from, from my office. Like we had great friends. Things were great. And yet we knew we wanted more. And not and, and just from the place of like the next level of our joy was to move out and have an adventure together. And I, I talk about this often, but my friend Jonathan helped me see that for me, it's not about the physical locations, but it's about the opportunity to grow. Ah, oh, that brings me joy. And we were able to, to, my wife and I were able to unite our dreams in a, in a way that allowed us both to have joy and allowed us both to pursue what, what we wanted in life and took us out of a place where, um, you know, quite frankly, everything was good. We had, we had accomplished a lot of what I think, like, you know, we had set out to accomplish. And still we knew that there was more. You see me right now making this video here, choosing to do this my way, choosing to do this as an entrepreneur, choosing to do this um, and, and through creating, uh, creating inclusion, authenticity, possibility, bringing that to the world and bringing that with joy through the World Joy Movement and through enjoyment. I could have just gotten a job, but for me, like, and I would have been, we would have been stable, would have been nice and easy, would have been great. And it would have been the levels of success for other people. But I think I would have known deep down that like there was something bigger, there was something more that I was called to, and it would have kept me from having the level of joy and satisfaction that I have right now. So if you or anyone else you know is ready to explore it and just see what it would look like for them to have this kind of joy and to unapologetically go after what they want their way, let's have a conversation. Send me a direct message, leave a message in the comments. Um, let me know because we're gonna be doing, we're do, we're, I'm bringing together a small group of people, 10 groups, 10 groups, 10 people to go through an experience unlike any other, where we spend time understanding, discovering, embracing, and leveraging the things that make us unique so we can experience the joy that we want in life and work. To be able to show up as you are and to be seen as that. And not just to be seen, but to be celebrated and to be valued. A friend that is inclusion, a friend that is a world joy and that is what I am all about so thank you thank you for spending some time with me here I know right now this is definitely not for everyone this is for my early adopters I like we're gonna be building this like as we go along I'm going like I'm going into my wilderness going on to my edge and saying hey really the question is who's with me who's ready to experience a life of joy on their terms and to find a way to bring others along and en enroll them in, in the vision, however that looks like for them. As I say this here, I'm just like, I'm filling up even more. I get more and more excited and I'm, I'm thrilled with what, what this means for you and for me. I'm thrilled to be bringing in more people who are, who are ready for this. And just so you all know, if you're, if you're not ready just yet, that's totally fine. The fun part here is that we'll go through the wilderness together. We'll, uh, I will be right there with them going week after week, helping them discover more and helping them bring it out into the world more, helping them be more unapologetically them to the point where they no longer have to think about it, to the point where they'll come out and say, six months ago, I would have never have said this. Six months ago, I would have let this opportunity go by. Six months ago, that would have really bothered me. But now those people are like, I'm just, I'm just more me than I've ever been in my life. That is exciting to me. That is exciting to me. So we're on a joy path. We're making things happen. Reach out if this is something that you're, that if you're interested in at least having a conversation. Cause that's just like, you can't, you, the program here, it's a paid program uh, and you can't buy your way into it. It's something that you can only come in through invitation. Uh, and so the way that that works here is that we spend time together. I try and see like what joy looks like for you. It goes back to uh, like, are, are you actually at a place where you're looking for joy or are you looking for just the next step? 
for you. And if it's the next step, that's cool. I can help you with that. We'll spend two hours, we'll get it done. Or I'll give you a resource and we'll, get, we'll take care of that. But if you're really looking, if, you're, if, you're, if you've had your track record of success and you're looking to now take it to a level where you're, you're like, nothing, nothing less than joy, then come talk to me. And if you know someone else that you, that, that, that you feel would benefit from spending some time with me and just even understanding, understanding what would bring them joy and figuring out how to bring that into their life and work, let me know. I'm, I, I'm here to give, I'm here to serve. And right now I'm like, I understand who I need to serve right now. All right. I'm having a great time with this here. Um, I'm going to end this just just because, you know, quite frankly, there there's some people as I'm talking that come to my mind and I'm going to reach out to them. And um, yeah, and those people, it's because those people have been showing up. They've reached out to me in the past. Uh, so if you're one of those there, I'm looking forward to having a conversation with you. And if you feel like you should be one of those, don't wait for me to, to reach out to you. Take like, this is it. This is part of, of getting that joy. Go out and get it. Reach out to me. Let's change your life right now it's we can do this and I and I'm I'm very excited to be there uh, with you on it we'll be talking more about this stuff here we we'll talking about the joy of inclusion giving you a chance to experience that and just like find a different approach to all the fear-mongering all the competition that's out there it's like nah, ain't nobody got time for that except we all seem to be given time to, for that uh, let's let's go off and really create this world of joy first time I've said that and it feels great it feels really good I appreciate all of you who watch this I appreciate all of you who are involved in this and I appreciate all of you who are going to take the time to to step into your next level to step into what's next for you just send me a message nemo at enjoyment.com or leave a message in the comments and I might reach out to you and let me know if this is clear if this feels unclear to you let me know this is that's that's totally fine. One of my gifts is to spend time going further and further uh, and getting additional clarity. So you let me know where, where that sits for you. If you have any questions, and let me know through the form of a question. Ask me a question. Ask me a question that is meaningful to you. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. All right. Take care. Keep being awesome and choose joy each and every day. Bye.